Hey everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Cat God Ranch. This is apparently a roguelike deck builder. I have not tried it out yet, but I wanted to test it. I had to turn off the music because, well, it does seem to be an original mix. It is also a very specific sample of a very specific song that will almost certainly get flagged by YouTube. So you can figure that out if you uh, decide to check it out yourself. Anyways, um, let's get into it. We are the cat god, I'm guessing. Tutorial? Let's play the tutorial. There's also families here. Bird family? I don't know. Let's just click on tutorial and go from there. Uh, confirm. Confirm on the left is weird to me for some reason. Hey, new administrator. I'm Jet working as at Cat God Ranch. It's not that easy. Meow. Ha ha ha. Here, every day, seek anim different animals you up to seek the blessings of cat god i'll leave it up to to you to help me screen them in the future make sure to schedule offerings on time or you'll be fired ha 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 you need to strategically manage animals to earn pa golden paws to offer to the cat god the initial offering amount is 20 gold in five days wait a second is this game just luck be a landlord with Cats? Is that what we're doing here? Um, if you haven't played Luck Be a Landlord, it's like a roulette deck builder that's fantastic. Um, since you're a new administrator, let me guide you a bit. Stage objective. In each stage, you need to obtain enough golden paws within the specified number of days to complete the offering. Game objective. Pass each stage by completing the offering challenges. Okay. One of three earning coins, the amount of coins golden paws, whatever, I'm going to say coins. Obtained each day is determined by the sum of contributions from all animals on the field. They will appear in random places. Having this word without a, like a hyphen going across two uh, lines is weird. Click to view an animal information. N plus one. When a rooster is adjacent, there's a 50% chance to breed one chick. This game is literally uh, luck be a landlord. Okay. Entering a new day allows you to obtain new stuff. I'm fine with that because Luck Be a Landlord is fantastic. So let's see how this goes. All right, so we got five. Uh, and then we get to pick something. You can choose a new animal to join every day. Grow into a rooster, hen, or turkey after three days. Get five when eaten. Automatically sold after three days for plus seven, but you lose one each time. Okay. That's all for the basic knowledge. Now try to pass the test of the first stage. Sure, I can do that. The animals come out. He's been eaten. We have 15 of 20. Um, when there are three or more swans on the field, plus two. If adjacent to a puddle, plus two. Oh, wait, is this? When eaten, adds a lamb. When a rooster is adjacent. Uh, what do we have? We have a turkey, a skunk, and a fox. When a rooster is adjacent, 50% chance to breed into a chick. I'm going to take a swan here. Let's go... Let's go swans if we can. Also, what is this? Difficulty. Okay, difficulty zero. Sure. Lamb. When there is an adjacent empty tile, plus two. Automatically sold after five days for plus 12. I guess that's fine. I wish I could have the music on, but unfortunately, it's just not possible. All right, another swan. We basically need to take swans every chance we get, I think. And then look for puddles as well. Your offering deadline has expired. You need 20 to pay the cat god. Your tribute is 50 in five days. You got five. Uh, whoa, what is this? This is different. Meow cans. At the end of each stage, you receive a meow can. For every five you own, you receive an additional meow can. These can be used to purchase items in the shop. So we could save it, or we could spend it. All right, for each of the same, each adjacent bird of the same type, plus one gold. Interesting. This item will be removed after 10 days for plus one random super rare item. Oh, uh, I feel like I have to take that. Animals on the plot eat other animals. Plus two, but it's also a puddle. 
Wait, animals in the plot eat other animals. I'm kind of confused at what that's going to do. I'm going to buy the lucky blind box and this puddle because that goes with um <laughs> with our swans. Well done, new administrator. I see you have exceptional talent from now the, on. The ranch will be under your management. Show your skills. Click the highlight to continue. What's this? Sort by rarity? Oh, sure. New day. I wonder how much there is in this demo. The fox just ate my thing. Okay, uh, there is a 50% chance to turn one adjacent domestic pig into a wild boar if the number of wild boar exceeds two plus two. Okay, we could take wild boars and maybe it can grab that pig. 50-50? He's adjacent? I failed. That's awful. If adjacent to a puddle, plus two. Okay, well, we get a third swan, so now we have three swans. Should be fantastic. Uh, ooh, these must be rarer because they're green up here. Aina. Plus three, when adjacent animal is eaten, if it happens to be behind a carnivora, there's a 30% chance to eat the opponent and gain 20. <laughs> oh, wow. Prey on one adjacent bird or pika. I don't think there's any Pikachus. Let's take a hyena. All right, so I have enough. Um, 50 gold after. Okay, this tells you how many days. That's how many we got on that day. Prey on one adjacent lamb, sheep, or goat. Uh, I guess we'll take a calf. There's stuff going on. I mean, I could I could definitely I could spend a lot of time on this. I played a lot of luck be a landlord. Cat God Bill. All right, I will pay our 50. Congratulations. The cat God has been fed by and you've passed the test. Oh. Oh, for the tutorial. Sure. Confirm together. Passive. Oh, we have like a we have like an avatar at the start of the game. There are two extra normal animals on the field. Okay. Bird family. I guess this just shows you what. Oh, you can pick what types show up in the pool. That's kind of weird. There's also a talent tree. Which is really weird. And there's also <laughs> there's also a leaderboard. Okay, let's try difficulty one and see what happens. How do we select our cat? We will be boss cat. The weather is good today. Such a nice day. Perfect making progress. Today's ranch has not been affected by any negative circumstances. Don't make excuses for the lack of tribute. You need to strategically manage animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got that. Day one, we will get the loot. We have a pig. Part of this is remembering what everything does, too. So we need. Um, well, I guess we could just go with whatever at the start. Actually, just having two wild boars is kind of crazy, right? Wait, they only give one. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait, they're they're plus one right now. Batten up before selling. Maybe there's something we can do with the wild boar. Number of coyotes. I don't really want that. I guess we could take an out uh, a lamb, see what it grows into. So wild boars are naturally minus one. Which is interesting. I'm going to take another pig here and see if we can turn the pig into a wild boar. And then hopefully we have some way to cash in these wild boars into something. That's my thought process anyway. Uh, roosters plus two when you have no adjacent roosters and we don't have an adjacent rooster. So getting plus two seems quite good. This is literally just luck be a landlord on a farm, which sure. Plus this section. This is different. It's having a shop. 
automatically isn't this the same as the other after five days adding random super rare animal 10 days super rare item oh no that's different um cave animal probability is increased by 10 percent on this tile with a capacity increase in two. Oh, oh, we get two more slots. I see, I see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip so we get some interest. I think that's the strategy here. Um, I think we're supposed to take a hyena. Because in theory, we do want to eat things, right? The sound effects are wild. Sheepdog protects adjacent lamb, sheep, goat, and alpaca. Uh, sure. We get five gold if it protects something. I mean, we're way ahead right now. Rooster, we do have a rooster, so I don't think we want another rooster. I think we just take another hyena and we try to like start getting animals eaten. Let's get a chick. You hatch into something that can be food. We're like plus, we're plus 75 right now, so fine. Now we need a hundred after five days. All right, we have 14 canned food. So we could spend four. When selling, minus 100 gold plus six. What does it mean when selling? I don't understand that. Oh, when you prey on an animal, plus one daily offering. Appetite plus one. I don't know what that does. High rarity carnivore with prey on ability can eat low rarity carnivore and inherit their stuff. Oh, that seems really good. Um, I'm going to purchase that. And I'm going to purchase a puddle. Because animals will eat other animals on the puddle, right? Unless I misunderstood how that works. All right, gray wolf. Now let's get a sheep. We already have, well, we have coyote, but we, we still need, we still need something to prey on here. And then you actually need them to be adjacent. Puddle. Animals on the plot eat other animals. Oh, if it happens, I think you get plus two. I think that's where I was confused at. Uh, we're 100% going to take the dairy cow. Uh, that dog just got eaten by the hyena. Oh, whoops. Whoops. I don't know what I added. Okay, don't mash through. I added another coyote. It's fine. We're we're fine. Um sheep? Feels like a sheep. So wait. The hyena if it happens to be behind a carnivore, there's a 30% chance. Okay. So I guess it goes like left to right, and if Yeah. The the hyenas will eat other carnivores. All right, 180 in six days. You got six plus one. We have 14 again. Ugalata talent? I don't know what that is. Whenever that is eaten, immediately gains two times the number of stuff. Sure. I think we only want to spend four here. Evolution. No, nah, that's a reptile thing. Each time you contribute the price. Oh, we're going to get the secret. I'm going to grab the secret letter and then we'll go to the next stage. 
That way we get more canned food to try and like figure things out here. Meanwhile, we just keep going on hyena build, I guess. I think eventually that's going to lead us to problems, though. Uh, I think we could take a skunk since for the most part, there should be empty spaces. However, this is the type of build that leads itself to having problems later on. I'm gonna take the fox. Hopefully, oh, we want the fox to just basically get eaten. Well, the fox ate the hen. It's fine. Dairy cow? Dairy cow makes sense. Seems actually quite enjoyable. We're at 300 now. A lark? Increase the chance of super rare or ultra rare animals. Yeah. Yeah, I like increased rarity. That's fine. It doesn't get eaten. Civet cat? Carnivore? Substitute one adjacent normal animal with rare, super rare, ultra rare, or extinct. The rarest of animals. Alright, well, let's take that and see if it. What happens here? We're gonna switch out the. Whoa! That fox just turned into a tiger. Wait, what's that do? Prey on all adjacent Ugalata, which is the cow family. Plus two for each one, and it's three by itself. That's pretty good. We have 19 cat food, too. Plus one appetite. I don't know what that does, but we're leveling this up. Um... Let's see. On nest, egg laying. When turkey is eaten, plus four. I think what we're going to do is we're going to add these two tiles. To the board. Add some more space. Um, I wonder if the tiger is going to like ruin our whole thing here. Let's take another rooster. There's no, there's no adjacent anything. I wonder if there's a limit to number of items we can have as well. See, there's like spots over here. Um, take a swan. The tiger is doing tiger things. We can roll. So there's normal, rare, super rare, ultra rare, and extinct. I have a 0% chance. I wonder how you level up that chance. Turkey gives plus 5 gold when eaten. About it. I think we're going to lose, though. After, not this time, but the time after. Unless something good happens. Well, I mean, this cat is also, like, leveling up everything. That rooster got smaller. All right, let's take another cat. They're just randomly leveling up our our whole squad. Turn it to an eagle. All right, we need 420 on seven. <laughs> Ten percent chance to get one additional animal selection per day. That's actually pretty good for us. Tiger, plus one extra after eating an animal. Seems good, too. I'm going to buy it. We'll go to the next one. Since we do have a tiger, the lucky seems like it could be. It could go crazy here. And the cat's doing cat things. I don't even know if extincts exist yet, since this is the demo. Uh, let's just take the dairy cow, I think. Generally, I, from here, I'm pretty sure we just want things that do things when eaten. What is that? A moa. Never mind, extinct things do exist. Each time it appears, remove all animals except for extinct. And 
plus money of all removed animals. Um, isn't that going to just destroy our whole board? <laughs> am I am I wrong about that? Wait, wait, wait. Right. Cool. Okay. Now, is it permanently plus 51? If it's permanently plus 51, that's crazy. It is. Okay. So... Huh. How... Remove. It doesn't eat. It removes them. So, I guess we could put the land... The the goat out there to see what happens. Now it doesn't say that. It just absorbs it. Well... I don't really know where we go from here, to be honest. We're stuck with a single MOA. Randomly duplicate one tile on the field every two days. Is it a random tile or is it a random trigger? Also... What is this is a bird prefers group activities does it now does it prefer group activities when it's killing everything uh, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here <laughs> I guess I'm gonna take this for science and then we're gonna reroll because we need some help Um, I'm gonna take piggy bank too because I don't think we're gonna make it if we don't. Maybe we get some good 10% luck going into this next one. Our MOA has just taken over the world. Okay, we could get a Capriolus, and if it came up next to it, we would get a lot of money. However, we would then have to rebuild our entire board. You know, if it happens, it happens. Also, we don't know how this is going to work. Well, no, it's just dead. So that doesn't matter. We do also want the highest value animals. It's only 64, though. It's just, it's just really not enough. <laughs> it's really, it's not. Oh, I see. I see. This duplicated a tile. These are tiles. That's why this got added to here. Not what I thought it was going to do, but good to know that that's what, exactly what it does. Cool. It. The bird gives us 69 now, which is great. Still not enough. Well, we definitely take the peacock here. Please be adjacent. Please be adjacent. I don't think that did what I thought it was going to do. Um. Alpa. Oh, nice. Take the musk ox here. 620 after one day. Mm, I think we lose. I can't pay. Meow, ha ha ha, burp. Cough, cough, not bad. You managed to hold on till now. Keep offering more to the cat god. Oh wait, we did. We did have just enough. I guess probably because of the thing I had that I sold. Oh, we can get lucky again. Oh, that's actually really good. When this item is the... Oh, you could sell items. Hold on. Sell that. Sell that. Hold 
plus one times extra good. so if this is my only item then I double what I'm getting right now oh I see I see I also got an achievement here apparently but it has uh, not been translated Okay, so this should be doubling. Travel for four days upon return, bring back one item. Okay, sure. See if it triggers first. When this item is the only one present. Also, that happened to go first, so it didn't work. That's a shame. All animals plus one times extra gold. I don't think that's working the way it's supposed to. Because it reads to me is that it should trigger again. But it might just be adding an extra gold. 82? No, I gave the same. Um, well, we have a chance for better things here. We'll take the peacock. For sure. We immediately eat the peacock. Yeah, I think we're I think we're done so now. This thing just like destroyed everything. Like it's good, but also you would need some type of items to make it actually work long term. Well, let's see what happens when you lose. Give up. We gave up. You failed to pay the cat god on time. You lost the trust of the cat god. Return to hut. Best record. Daily max money. MVP. <laughs> yeah, it did give us a lot of money, huh? Uh, we unlocked. Oh, it was an unlock. Welfare lottery. Automatically after 10 days, gain 0 to 10. The number of owned uh, cat food can be less than zero. Oh, it's 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 credit card from oh from B Balatro. All right. Well, look. If you're into luck, be a landlord. This is literally like a variation of that game, and I am. It's gonna go on my wish list because I enjoy this a lot. I don't know if this is something I would put on the channel very much because um oh I didn't mean to go back here. Because I don't know how much you guys really want to see this. If you do, let me know. But I kind of enjoy this a lot. I'm curious what the talent tree is. I like that it has a ranking and achievements and whatnot. I could see myself playing a fair bit of this when it comes out. It's definitely going on my wish list. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. And I'll see you all next time. Have a great day. Jeff out. Bye.